Stewart, you promised us a response to last week. Was that the response you were looking for? Uh, yeah, I was really pleased with the performance as a whole. We spoke about starting the game well, and I feel we did that. And I was pleased with how we managed the game as well. We didn't chase anything too early. We knew how tough a game it was. I know it was 3-0 for a long time in that game. And we just had to keep playing the way we wanted to. And, and um, we were confident that our game would give us tries later in the game. Yeah, and no, I was really pleased with the performance. Uh, please. And please return the microphone so that we can... Uh, Gregor, it got a bit sort of squeaky one time there at the end. Were you, uh, was there ever a point at which you thought it might not happen? The win? No, the, the bonus point. Yeah, well, look, look we, um, the goal was to, to win the game. And we believed with the pressure we'd built up, um, the opportunities would come in the second half. Um, one of them should have been taken probably by us when we're a yard away from the line. I think the ball was kicked out of Gordy Reid's hand, so to me it was play on, but it was a bit of misfortune there not, not to score the try then. But we, we believed, um, and you have to play right to the 80 minutes to, to get that bonus point. Uh, it obviously is something now that um, we're really glad we got. Uh, it, it, going into the game, just to win and just have a better performance was was the target. Anything extra would have been a, an exceptional performance, and that's what it was, especially in that first half. Uh, Gregor, I mean, obviously the, the focus is on the on the four tries and the bonus point, but the nil is, I think, is the first time one of your teams has, has nilled anybody. I think that's probably a, a number that's going to please you as much as four tries and, and five points. Yeah, and, and it's a real credit to the players and also Matt Taylor, our defence coach, who does a fantastic job week in, week out. He, uh, he puts defence systems in place, but he also motivates the, the players to defend. And tonight they defended with real passion, like to get off the line and, and put big hits on some very big men. And to do it time and time again, knock, knock the confidence of the, the Samoan carriers. Uh, they're a very dangerous team, and they still caused uh, us some problems right at the end. But to see the effort on that last line at Mall and then a few phases in defence, I, I don't know who got the, the jackal penalty, probably Jamie Ritchie, he um, had a few in the game, uh, was outstanding. Could you just talk a bit about the conditions out there under the roof and whether some of the work you'd done before you got to the tournament prepared you for that? Um, yeah, it was really tough conditions, obviously, with the, the roof closed and the, the heat. It was, you know, from stepping out into the warm-up, I hadn't even done anything yet and I was starting to sweat. Um, it, was, it was tough and the ball was slippy, but... You know, I think it was the same for both teams, and it was uh, it was pleasing. Our defence managed to to get a few errors out of the Samoans' handling um, because of the pressure we were putting on, and, and obviously the ball was was pretty greasy. It was it was tough, but you know it was it was tough for for both teams. And uh, yeah, we we'd done a bit of working, doing passive heat th uh, strategies before we came out. Uh, we spent a bit of time in Portugal, so you know I think all that helped us right up until the end, keep our fitness up and, and get the fourth try. Gregor, your team's had a bit of a battering over the last eight days, you and the coaches as, as well. What does the manner of tonight's performance and result say about the character of your camp? Well, that, that was a true reflection of, of who we are and what we're capable of uh, and what playing for Scotland means for these players. That was a tough challenge that they had to rise up and, and face, knowing that if we underperformed tonight, we, we were out of the World Cup. And we're playing a very dangerous team. So to, to see the effort, the togetherness was, was excellent. And 
Look, last week we did miss the beginning of the game, and uh, I take responsibility of, of not preparing the team well enough to, to start well against Ireland. Um, but that doesn't make us a, a bad team or makes his players not, not putting huge effort in every time they play for Scotland. Uh, so tonight was great to see them get the reward for that effort. Thank you. Greg, the, um, um, the, 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 you made three changes in the back row. Obviously, one of them was in force, but the other two were um, your, your choice. The, uh, the back row is really fundamental to, to, to this uh, victory. Can you talk us through, you, um, through their contribution to the game and, and, and each, of the, each of the guys? Yes, well, I thought... I thought oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I thought Jamie Ritchie had an outstanding game. To think that he could have missed the World Cup with uh, the injury got her and his cheekbone three or four weeks ago to come back from surgery to, to play like he did tonight shows what an exceptional player he is, but also his, his character. Uh, Maggie, Magnus, gave us a really good go forward, hit hard in the tackle, uh, and fronted up physically against some, some big men. And Blade, like he's done so far for, a, for us in his Scotland career, just did the, the little things really well. So made good decisions, technically very good, whether it's line out, catch and restarts at the base of the scrum, linking with forwards and backs. So yeah, we were really pleased with the back row, but also the whole pack. There was a lot of scrums, a lot of malls tonight. The, the front five worked very hard. じゃあ、タウンセンドさんにあの、日本がアイルランドをやっつけた、あの、金星を挙げた、そういうチームとこう、決勝トーナメントを争うっていう意味ではなんか Well, we're still in the tournament, so that's what the, the win means tonight. And the bonus point gives us an opportunity to, to go to our next game and aim to get maximum points in that game. And if we do, it will be a game against Japan to go into the quarterfinals. Uh, Gregor, what, how do you think Pule stands now? Well, Japan and Ireland are still favourites to get out the pool. Uh, we have to win our next two games and pick at least one bonus point up in those games, potentially two. Well, we'll see what happens at the weekend. Japan have a good rest into their game against Samoa. Samoa have a quick turnaround. And we have an even quicker turnaround against Japan when we play them in a couple of weeks' time. So we're going to look at the next 10, 11 days as preparation for both Russia and Japan. And we have to build towards a game plan that can get us maximum points against Russia, but also beat Japan. Hi, Greg. Uh, Stuart Hogg seemed to adjust to the conditions quicker and better than possibly anybody else in the backfield uh, there today. How complete a performance was that from your man? Maybe off the boot as well. He seemed to have it on a string. Well, he's, he's over the moon with his drop goal. So uh, <laughs> he's been practicing and training. So uh, he's quite pleased with that. He kicked a goal kick from 60 meters uh, in training yesterday. He, he's, he's a real team man. So you can see the pace and the power he has in his game to cause damage, but his kicking, now that he kicks to touch for us, he kicks uh, restarts, his general kicking, and his ability to put others into space is, is excellent. So he, he's just maturing into an all-round player that can help the team win in different ways. と
、えー、ラッセルレイドローホックと、まあ、あのチームの中心人物が活躍したわけですけど、まあ、その点でもこう非常にチームにとっていいことだと思うんですけどそのあたりはどう,どう思いますかファンタスティックトライと、たぶん、ジョージ・ホーン、オンエンサイド・ボール、フレーザー・ブラウン、but、have to say it was brilliant defensive work from Tim n i n e i Williams to stop that try with his intercept. Gregor, I think Springbok's coach、um, described playing Japan in this atmosphere, in this World Cup, as slightly scary. Do you sort of accept that, or, or do you guys think it's more exciting, considering the Atmosphere is sort of red hot when they play, isn't it? Thanks. I suppose if, if you're a glass half full person, you see it as a really exciting challenge and one you can't wait to take on. If you're glass half empty, then that is a scary challenge.、Um, we will look at that optimistically. The atmosphere at the Island Japan game was outstanding. We know what it's going to be like at Yokohama with. 70,000 Japanese supporters behind the team. But there'll be a few Scots in there too, and the bigger the challenge, the, the more that brings out in a team. So that's in the future, we still have to make sure that we deliver a performance against Russia a week on Wednesday. We'll get the last two questions. Gregor, for the, for the last try, obviously, a very, very dramatic moment. What were you thinking there as it was happening? Did you, th did you think penalty try, or what, were you, what was your thought, thoughts on it? Well, until I watched the video, I thought, we've not scored here.、Um, and Sean, who'd done really well in the game,、um, obviously had scored earlier,、uh, I thought it would be a fitting end to, for him to get the, the fourth try. Then when I saw the video, I thought, Well, let's hope the referee and the TMO have seen that it was an illegal tackle with the knees coming in, and that's what it turned out. So, yeah, we're, we're delighted to, to get the fourth try, having had three tries with about 20 minutes to go. Last question. Gregor, can I just ask the,、um, the bonus point system really makes it difficult to see who's going to go through in any of the groups. What's your view on it? Is it a necessary complication or is it more exciting for, for fans? What do you think? I think my answer would be、uh, biased towards whatever <laughs> works in our favour.、Um, that's a good thing. <laughs> the, the bonus point is something we're all used to. We, we have it now in、um, a few tournaments that we play in. At the end of the day, look, we, we know that we'll have to win our next two games, and by the time we play Japan, we should know what that means, whether it's denying them a bonus point or scoring four tries. We knew the rules going into it, and it was up to us to pick something up more than zero points against Ireland. So the challenge is there. If it means we have to score four tries and deny Japan a bonus point, then that'll be an even bigger challenge for us to take on. Thank you very much.、Uh, can, I, can I just say something、yeah. before, I, before you go?、Um, our manager、um, had a baby boy in the 60th minute of the game. So,、uh, <laughs> David Edge, congratulations to him. Mixon will be open in a couple of minutes. So, you. you can start heading there. Thank you.